Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Proverbs chapter 20, verse 11. It says, Even children are known by the way that they act, whether their conduct is pure, and whether it is right. Even children. That doesn't mean that today's word only applies to the children, but it also applies to all teenagers, young adults, regular adults, and super adults. Super adults, you know who you are. Even children means children and older. Everyone, except for infants, are known by their actions. Whether their conduct is pure, whether it is right. Jesus says, if you love me, you will obey my commands. Jesus says that we will be uh, known as his followers by the way that we show love for one another. And Jesus says that just as you can identify a tree by its fruit, so you can identify people by their actions. As Christians, it seems as if being kind, being loving, being patient, being good to others, that that should be the basics. That's Christianity 101. Don't be mean to others and don't be a jerk. But sometimes people make it so easy to be a jerk, to be unchristlike. They do, stu they do uh, stupid things like cutting you off in traffic. They do mean things like spreading rumors about you to others. They do hurtful things like tearing you down when you feel like you're finally at the top or even worse. When they tear you down and you already feel like you're at the bottom and you just realize that you can still go lower. When people attack us or hurt us or those we care about, our first reaction is typically to want to hurt them back. We all have our weird quirks. And one of mine is I like to have a super clean email inbox. Those little notification numbers next to my apps, they drive me crazy. and I like to zero them out each day. And so I used to do my best to keep my personal email cleared out. I did my best to delete or archive any emails that came through. And anytime junk mail made it through to my inbox or I got a promotional email from a company that I no longer cared about, I would mark it as spam and I always felt a little bit better after everything was, was cleared out. And now I know some of you don't have that problem as I've seen some people with at least five digit notifications. That's over 10,000 email notifications. But that would, be, that would give me way too much anxiety. But apparently I'm not the only person in this world with my first and last name. And some jerk named Mitch Tucker keeps signing me up for emails that I don't want. I don't think that he's doing this on purpose. My guess is that his email is just close enough to mine that he gets confused. And, but I've got enough of his, of his emails to know that this jerk is a dentist that lives in, Can in Canada and he really likes to golf. So a couple of months ago, I check my inbox and I see it's full of new promotional emails for dentist gear and golf shops, and I get really annoyed, and I uh, start clearing it out. And then I get to the part of my emails that are marked as important, and I see an email confirming my tea times for that weekend at some golf course up in Canada. And at this time, I'm just sick of seeing these emails, and then I see the cancel reservation button for my tea times at the bottom of this email and a thought pops into my mind. Not a good thought that comes from the Holy Spirit, but a vengeful thought that was rooted in the sin nature that we are all born with. And I made the decision, and that was the day that I felt like I got my revenge for my overfilled inbox. Our natural inclination isn't to love our enemies. It isn't to be kind and generous to those that aren't in our inner circle. It's to make sure that we do not get shortchanged in life. It is to think of ourselves first and others second. The fruit of the Spirit listed in Galatians 5 is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And we can only live those out when we live a life that relies on the Spirit of God to transform us. So does the fruit in your life refl reflect the fruit of the Spirit of God? Do your co-workers know you as someone who is full of gentleness and kindness? Do your family members know you as someone who is loving and patient and do your friends go to you with their struggles because they see you as a source of peace and joy? What does the fruit of your life look like? My challenge for you today is to take an honest assessment of your life and the fruit that it produces and then see where you can do more to better reflect Jesus to the others in your life. How can you love others better? How can you be more patient? How can you share God's goodness with everyone that you come into contact with? Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.